Hello, this is Kevin. And this is Pag Murphy. Welcome what? back. Hi, and today's Radian 6 tutorial will be covering the River of News widget. The River of News widget lists all the social media sources for your topic profile. Now, why would you be interested in this? Here's a couple of the key benefits. The first thing, as it's true with all Radian 6, it is real-time monitoring. You'll see from the example show we show today, it catches up what's happening immediately today and as far back as you'd like to go, up to 30 days. Um, another benefit is that it provides a cross-section of conversations around your topic. So not just explicitly your topic, but other things surrounding it. And lastly, and most importantly, it helps you analyze detailed information about your topic so you can share it with your client and better inform your research. Great. And now we're going to show you how to configure the River of News widget. First, we're going to go to the River of News logo. This is the River of News logo. And we're going to double click it. We're going to get a box. Wow. It says title. <laughs> We're going to call it gourmet ice cream as we've done in our other widgets to just stay consistent. Now you'll see gourmet ice cream listed here. We established this in our topic profile, so we'll hit the plus sign. It will move to the right. Now we have an option for real-time monitoring or a date range. I could put in a date range a start date and an end date, it's 30 days. So if I wanted to find out something that happened 10 days ago that you heard in the news, I could put in that specific date. But for this example, we'll use real-time monitoring. I could go one day ago, which will cover all the information about gourmet ice cream in the past 24 hours, up to 30 days ago. Let's use seven days for this example. Great, and then along the bottom, as you'll see there, we already have checked from developing our profile, but you can adjust this if you want. So we're using the same sort of media sources, Twitter, Facebook, you can see the rest of them, images, videos. Off we go, done. So now I'm gonna hit done. Now it's configuring. Let's see what we end up with. All right. Um, well, you know what? I saw this on the news this morning, Kevin. Um, ben and Jerry's had a funny thing and with Jon Stewart. So yay PR folks. Maybe we should go look for one of those and see who are some of the people that are posting about what happened on Jon Stewart last night. So if I want to do that, I could go directly to their Twitter profile. I just hit this link and it's going to open up a Twitter box and you can see who this person is. If I want to know who they are, realistically, I could hit them and get a profile summary. This is how many tweets this person has done, how many persons this person is following, and how many followers she has. Okay, so she's kind of a fun person, and it might be interesting to go through and look at that. But most importantly, um, oh, are you going to go to that funny thing? Sure. So why don't I just open this? And if I want to see what Robert Pattinson said, I could hit this, and you could actually get the link. Maybe. Um, so if I'm looking for this is another way my PR darlings to help us keep up with what's going and if you wanted to and we had more time you could copy the, the clip and use it in whatever reports you might be doing but now we're going to go back to our dashboard so you can see as you scroll down there a whole variety of things and you can see it falls literally by the minute Ben and Jerry's is an interesting company uh, partly because of all their PR efforts and their social causes, they get covered a lot and they have some awesome ice cream. But I like some of the things like snuggled up with my blanket and headphones. If I am a consumer insight person and looking for why do I eat ice cream, why do we eat Ben and Jerry's, some of that's kind of interesting. Now, by t these are sorted by published date to start with. However, if we hit this box, which I'm going to do now, it could... There we go. Rearrange by other. We could arrange everything by specifics. So if I wanted to go comment count, I could. And comment count will basically move the post on which the greatest number of comments have been made about your topic to the top of the list. And again, you can see. There you go. The, the whole thing with The Daily Show is way up high. I can look along and see ice cream flavors you have to try. That, whole, that news story is getting a lot of play. And you can go down along and it shows you what is happening with your brand online at the moment. Did now you know? I could do engagement. So I hit engagement. And this will give a value, which Radiant 6 assigns, between 1 and 10, based on the number of unique commenters. 
And again, this is showing up high, the Daily Show talking about Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm. But there's some interesting things. You'll see little shifts. If you look at, I want my trans fats back, consumerist readers, you know, and that's kind of an interesting thing if you're worrying about health and ice cream and all that good stuff. And obviously, you want to scroll down and start really pulling out details and digging. But for this example, we're going to go back. Now, I could go to form thread size. And this just refers to the conversation thread in which the post is a part of. So this can give you kind of a bigger scope of what is going on. So, oh, interesting. Obama Express and ice cream. Next, we could hit inbound links. Inbound links is very important. It offers other users that have linked to a post. This usually indicates that the post source is an authority. Now, I'm going to start scrolling through here. And again, I'm going to start digging. And some of these are just great stuff. My obsession is getting severe. There's particular flavors that they care for. You can see all again this whole late night craving thing. Crave is always a big thing with ice cream. Um, oh man, I'm going to celebrate with Hagen Day's coffee ice cream, but I ate it all. You know, that's fun. And they get retweeted, and that's part of the whole authority thing. I could also do Twitter following. And that just refers to other Twitter followers that this source follows. So that helps you get a sense of what's important to them, where their values are, who they align with, those kinds of things. When that pulls up. And this seems to be taking a little longer. And sometimes <laughs> that happens. Obviously, you can see following followers. I could also go back and hit Twitter followers. And again, Twitter followers just refers to the number of Twitter followers that are following this source. Mashable comes up first here. Right. And then this uh, delightful, this one's really fun. This old lady who's only by Entenmann's Pound Cake and Ben and Jerry's. You go, girl. And look how many followers this person happens to have. Mm -hmm. so, so if you're looking for influencers. I would, I would definitely hit him and take a look at who he is. Jack Ray. And if I want, again, how will I know this? I hit his name. I can get his profile summary. He's a producer, writer for Anderson Cooper 360. He would be an influencer to watch. Again, let's go back to our dashboard. And I could also um, arrange it by unique commenters. And that simply are individuals who have commented on the post. And again, when this pulls up, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. Okay, the value of looking at unique versus total is obviously it's isolated down, so if we don't hear the same person over and over again, which sometimes happens, um, so we can see. If you go through these, you can look and see information about them in terms of analytics, followers, updates, and um, obviously, as Kevin pointed out, you can click on any one of them to get more information about them and what else they're into. Next, and finally, let's look at view count. And this is basically the total number of times a video or image has been viewed. Now, we can also hit top 10. So I'm going to hit top 10 down here. And the top 10 will just display bar charts of the top 10 results based on your sorting method you selected. Um, this is useful because it's a very quick way, obviously, to have a look-see at what's happening and what's most important. It also makes for a nice little report summary if you have to give it to a client or prepare for a presentation. You can obviously mouse over and you bars. Count, right, and you count the actual, actual number of counts. Again, you can click on them and see what's going on. And again, once I click on it, I'll get the media viewer, and I can get a whole lot more information and understand what's going on. Again, here's that video as we discussed and saw earlier. And one of the nice things about it is you can also look down on the little graphs on below, and you can see the number of commenters. You can see that's trending up not quite as high as the number of comments. And engagement level for this particular piece in The Daily Show was terrific. So nice job, whoever worked in PR, to get that place. Perfect. So I'm going to click off that. I could also hit workflow. Now workflow is great for those people working on social media teams, working um, in PR. Basically, it provides a cross-section of conversations around your topic. And it also helps you analyze detailed information about your topic. I can also assign 
different things to different people. So if I have a team of people working with me, I could assign a specific person to each post and they could respond to each individual post and engage with the audience directly. So if you guys were, for example, in ad agency or in social change or some class, working with a client, a real client, and they uh, were brave enough to allow you to help respond, this would be terrific. So I could put Kevin in charge of all the difficult responses because I know he's so fantastic at that, and I'll just deal with all the people who love us. And so that exactly covers our River of News widget. If you should have any further questions about any of this, please see one of us in the department, and we'll be happy to help. We hope you tune in for our next tutorial. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you soon.